Hey everybody, welcome back to Flying Miata. This is Kyle, and today we are continuing work on our ND V8 Miata. All right, on today's episode, we are going to be taking our completed subframes, and we're gonna be adding the driveline components that are required to go into them, and then we'll be putting those into the car. Here we have our completed rear subframe, and to get to this point, I began by installing the differential, We then moved on to installing the control arms. Now there are five per side on this Mazda Multi-Link rear suspension. I then installed the axles and then the rear sway bar. All right, now we're ready to get the rear end put up into this car. So we're gonna mount the whole subframe to the chassis. We'll do that by bringing the chassis down to it. Uh, we'll have to guide the alignment studs through the chassis and then we'll bolt it up from the bottom. And we'll do that now. Moving on to the front end, similar story. We had to mount our drivetrain to the subframe, as well as add a lot of other components. Now before I put this whole thing in, there's a few things I wanted to do before we got to that point. A lot of which is the wiring. There wasn't a lot of wiring existing for the transmission, so I got all that routed, got wiring added for the reverse lights and for the reverse lockout. And that's all harnessed up and cleanly routed. I did modify the GM harness a little bit to get components where I need them. Um, also added wiring for like the starter solenoid um, and things like that. As you can see, other components have been added. We have the headers and the cap portion of the exhaust system. We 
We have the control arms. We have the front sway bar. And we have the complete power steering assembly. We even have the cooler and the lines up front now. All right, one of the pieces we had to engineer for this kit is our radiator. We needed it to have the appropriate inlet and outlet points to match what's on the engine, as well as a greater cooling capacity for the large amount of heat this V8 engine is going to generate. So we have this piece here. Not only is it nicely polished, it looks great. We have mounting points on the sides here for the factory condenser. So it bolts up just as it would on the factory radiator. Here on the back side, we have a custom shroud that's fully sealed all the way around. We have these two high torque spall fans that are great at pulling air through multiple heat exchangers. And then we have a number of these flaps. Now these flaps are for when the air velocity is greater flowing through the radiator than what the fans are pulling. So that gives an alternative passage for that air to flow, increasing the cooling capacity at speed. So we'll go ahead and drop this in. Just like that. All right, we now have as much as we can pre-assembled on the front subframe. So now we can lower the chassis down onto the subframe and get it all bolted together. I'm gonna do this very slowly. I need to make sure that nothing is gonna get pinched or crushed during this process. So I'll go slow, walk around as I go down and just double check that nothing is going wrong. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. Stay tuned next time as we're covering suspension, brakes, wheels, and tires. See you then.